Hi everyone, Agnes here and I've got a wonderful success story. It's from C and it's a one year in the making success story. Hi Agnes, I was wanting to share with you a recent success story of mine that is over one year in the making. I started listening to your videos last summer as well as just educating myself on how to manifest in general. When the pandemic hit, I had just started seeing someone in my city. We lived at the time in one of the largest US cities and had very strict lockdown rules. We went from living separately and in the early stages of dating to rotating days at each other's apartments to keep quarantined and tend to our pets we both had in our respective homes. Everything was wonderful. He fit into my life in ways I could not know someone could. He was everything I'd ever asked for in a partner and there was no need to rewrite a future together because we wanted the exact same things in life. We saw ourselves moving to another state in the future and we were in unanimous agreement about which state that was. I'd never seen a future for myself in tandem with someone else before. This was effortless and everything I'd ever visualized when meditating and manifesting. He unfortunately lost his entire career at the beginning of the pandemic and I was able to last in survival mode at my job for only a while before I started crumbling myself. It became difficult for my anxious attachment styles to remain quiet and the anxious behavior I exhibited towards him was pushing him away as he dealt with his own struggles. One morning, July 2020, I woke up and dumped him at 5 a.m. He had been posting pictures on Instagram when I was waiting for him to return a call about a health issue he was dealing with within the day before. It required an ER visit in a pandemic and this further fueled my anxiety. So, after assuming he didn't want me because of his use of social media instead of calming me down, I ended things. And I have regretted that decision since the moment I sent that text. When things ended, we struggled to stay in touch during the fall and winter. We had made amends, but my SP wasn't in a place to re-enter a relationship. And I needed to make an exit strategy for my job. By December of 2020, he had been offered a job in the same state we discussed moving to. When I heard this news after sending him a happy birthday text, I was so saddened, but it didn't feel like a hurdle. I knew he wasn't out of my life and it really never felt like he had ever left. So I congratulated him, sent him love and good luck and continued evaluating where I needed to be going with my life and my career. I never got a response back, but I didn't expect one. I spent the fall and early winter realizing the best things happened for us when we were together because I could mirror his calm. I wanted to create this for myself so I could rely on myself for this calm and I'm so glad I took this route. Since I had a lease up in six months, I had to focus on me, but couldn't fathom cutting him out of my atmosphere still. So that's when I focused on rewriting my self-concept, moving on from the past arguments I would replay in my head over and over again. And I just spent time feeling confident about the unknown of my life. As I contemplate whether or not my current job would lay me off, for leaving the state, I wasn't finding a full-time job yet and I decided to get another lease in my city. I would then spend some time with my family back home but ultimately didn't know how to proceed without another job lined up. I was at a loss for what to do even though I knew I wanted to move to that new state my specific person and I talked about but didn't feel like I could follow a plan that had no outline. I remember shouting at the ceiling, I'll move anywhere and work for whomever, but I need my ideal plan. I need a plan to move forward. I'll do anything to get to a happier place. 
So this is where the magic begins. The next morning I was laid off from my job of five and a half years. I was supposed to sign that lease the same day, but now it didn't seem possible. Hours later, my dad asked me to move home and help him take care of his dying grandfather and ailing mother. He offered me free room and board and would sell me my car back for a dollar so I wouldn't have to find a vehicle solution. I didn't have a car in my current city because I used public transit. This immediately solved my housing and vehicle issue. Within the same hour, I had two offers come in on LinkedIn asking for freelance work to be done. These were people I had worked for previously and happened to think of me one day and reached out. This solved my money issue. Within hours of being laid off in March of 2021, I had a plan for money, housing, and a very solid idea that this happened because I'm supposed to move to that new state after I save money living with my dad. This is my ideal plan I asked for. The summer starts. I manifest 15,000 after the coincidence I got from the manifesting, got from manifesting a relocation. Even though I still didn't have a job in the new state, nor a moving date, I felt like I had already moved there. I mentally was living in three states at once, but was getting so confident in this wild west period of my life that I welcomed every opportunity and change. Here comes July of 2021. I had just accepted a leadership role at a company in the state I desired to live in. It paid more than my last job and was in the area of the state I wanted to live in. Since I didn't want to see people from my past while I was dealing with moving and grieving, I changed my location on social media to lives in and I put the new state. But don't actively use social media. So I forgot I had changed that profile detail. A week later, my birthday passes and I've been having dreams of my specific person. I'd been on such a roller coaster of my own, I hadn't felt his presence in my world as frequently, but he didn't feel separated. During one work day, I sat down at my desk to see a text from my specific person. After my dreams of him, I started visualizing messages showing up on my phone from him, which is how I similarly manifested 15,000 a few weeks prior. This literally happened so effortlessly, it didn't even feel like it happened. I was living so far in the end, I didn't even feel as remarkable. It didn't even feel as remarkable as I thought. Not in a bad way, but it made me realize how easily I manifest and these mini successes have continued to pile up. In the beginning of August, I'd relocated to my new state 40 miles away from my SP had started my job and was having fun furnishing my first ever solo apartment, which I also manifested. It was not affordable until a deal with $250 off monthly rent. A one bedroom with shockingly cheaper, was shockingly cheaper than a studio. So learning to let the universe decide how to unfold things was proven tenfold by acquiring this apartment. I started to struggle when I'd feel lonely and in lack of not having any friends yet. Instead of dwelling too long, I'd focus on some additional rewriting of those limiting beliefs that I'm not making friends. I slowly was getting to know coworkers and was getting to see friends in nearby towns more often. So I made more of a point to focus on the quality of friends coming in and not the quantity and when. I also started replaying a new story with my specific person in my head. I had never really seen myself as a relationship person in the past. I've been single for much of the last 10 years with only a few flings to mention. They didn't last more than five months and were never exclusive relationships. So I wanted to start visualizing committed commitment instead of just receiving texts. I would visualize my specific person from the first person as we drove to my hometown for the holidays. He was holding my hand as he drove, kissed it, and there's a ring on my ring finger. After he kisses my hand in the visualization, he says, I love you. I'm so happy I choose you and you choose me. And then I reply back, I love you too. And thank you for choosing me. 
I would also randomly visualize him introducing me to his friends as his partner and would use these scenes whenever he crossed my mind, whenever I was feeling happy, whenever I really wanted to. And as long as I felt in control of these positive thoughts, I would persist in them. Flash forward to September 2021. He's now reaching out every other week or so to just have small talk and kind of catch up. I would always reciprocate the message, but never gave more than I received. Not in a petty way, but in a trying not to be anxious, I, so I'm practicing matching energy way. When I'd have doubts, I'd go back to the ring scene in the car and focus on that feeling. Two weeks ago, he invited me to come and hang out with him and his new friends. I wasn't able to go, but knowing he wants me to proves that my manifestation is on his way, on its way. I told myself I'd offer him the same thing whenever I had the next opportunity to. Well, this past weekend, I was in a town between my specific person and I with a college friend and I invited my SP to an event and we were an event we were at and he responded immediately with a yes. He came, we had a great time with my friends and they got along so well, it's incredible. It wasn't awkward and he was even more handsome than I remembered. When we left the bar to continue hanging out at my friend's house, we didn't feel it was safe enough to drive home so we shared an air mattress in the guest bedroom. It was wild. While in bed, we talked for hours, caught up about what life looked like to get us to living where we did. And then he apologized again, which was something I had also scripted. I was given a chance to apologize once again as well. And he received it in such a healing way for us both. We've been texting since that night and he's been gushing with feelings about how he wishes he'd appreciated me before and is blowing up my phone just like when we were happy together. This is the dream come true and I will continue to work on my self concept to continue on my path to feeling more confident and at peace with life. I am so appreciative of the meditations you provide that have helped heal me and my relationship over the last year. I really owe it to you and the YouTube community of manifesting coaches for bringing me and my SP back to life and I can't wait to tell you what more comes of this journey. Best C. Thank you, C. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And thank you for the detail. You've really given a lot there for us to chew on. Now, for those of you that would like to learn a bit more about specific person manifesting, there is a toolkit. It's a two-part thing that I have put together. And it's got lots of recommended resources. It's all in one YouTube and in two parts. So two YouTubes over two parts, I'll put that down below for you. There's also some free specific person courses, three of them. One of them is for long distance. I'll put that down below for you. And there is a whole other meditation channel separate to this channel. And I will put the link down below for you. And the little thing will pop up here as well. And you can then go and do some of the meditations that C has mentioned. So lots of love everyone and power to your manifesting and you can manifest a specific person. It is possible. C has done it. I have done it. I'm still in it and it will be 10 years this November that I have been with mine and also Neville has done it. So I know there's some coaches and some you know, authors and some people that have died and written books that have said you can't, but each to their own. If this is something that you want, then you go for it. All right. Lots of love. And as always, in the next YouTube on this channel. Mwah!